Drawing walls in 2020 couldn't be easier. And as an experienced user, I highly recommend that you make a couple of changes to the default settings in your 2020. And if you do so, you will be able to design walls on the fly. The first change that I recommend that you make is we go to File, and under File is an option called Preferences. Now, the Preferences area is where we set defaults, and one of the defaults I would like you to change is at the very bottom, actually second from the bottom, it says Wall and Construction Lines. And if you look over here on the right-hand side of your screen, you'll see an option called Draw Walls Using 90 Degree Angles. That is the default setting in 2020. Now, what that does is, is it locks your walls into 90 degree angles, and if you would wish to put in other angles, 135s, uh, 225s, 180s, whatever it's going to be, you would need to do so by either right-clicking on your mouse or typing those angles. Well, 2020 has a feature where you can now go in and just simply point the direction you want the wall to draw and type in the length, and makes it much, much faster to draw. So, first thing I want you to do in your 2020, Turn the check mark off. We simply do that by clicking on the check mark in the box, and we click the OK button. When we click the OK, we create that, or we set that as a default. So every drawing you do from now on will have that default. The second item that I'd like you to change when you're 2020, and again, this will become a default too, is in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. You see a little green check mark, on, I'm sorry, a little green uh, light bulb on my screen. To the left of it is a chain link, and just to the left of that is an item that looks like a crosshair. That's actually called ortho, and what ortho does, and I'm clicking it right now, I'm going to press it. What ortho does is ortho locks your 2020 walls into 45 degree angles. Now, most of your walls, uh, when you're working in a kitchen, are divisible by 45. You're working with 90s, 135s, 180s, 225s, all are divisible by 45. So that'll take care of the majority of the walls you would draw in your room. Now, when you want to draw your kitchen, it's very simple to work. Once you've set that default, and again, you don't do that on every job, just one time, because it'll be like that from now on. When you start a new drawing, on the left-hand side of your screen, you see a toolbar with lines. These lines represent walls. We have a single line, which is continuous. We have an a L-shape, we have a U-shape, and we have an enclosed room. I always use the single line called continuous, and why? Because continuous will allow us to draw an unlimited number of walls. We could draw one wall, two walls, three walls, as many walls as you want, um, at any angle that you want, up to a sixteenth of an inch. Now, we will click this to activate. So I left clicked, and I'm going to take my cursor, I'm going to place it on the piece of graph paper, and I'm going to pick a starting point. So let's say that we start in the upper left hand corner, and we move right. You notice my wall follows me, but because I turned off the 90 degree option, watch what happens with my wall now. I can actually move it any direction that I want. I'm not right clicking, I'm not left clicking, I'm not doing anything other than moving my mouse. This is what I call pointing and typing. If I want the wall to move the right, I just point to the right and I type my length. Now, where am I typing my length? Over here on the left hand side. See it says length and right now it says 132 uh, and a quarter. I'm going to point to the right and say that first wall was 144 inches. Enter. My next wall, I point down. That wall, 156. Enter. Let's say that you wanted to change direction. Well, instead of going in at 90 degrees, I can simply point on a 135 and type in that length. I can say that wall is 99 inches. Enter. I could bring the next wall down at a 135 degree angle. Where am I seeing that? Let me point to it, but you'll see the angle change. So I just want to point where that is. See right here where it says 135 over here on the left? That's your angle. So I could point down here and say this wall is 60 inches. I want the next wall to go up. And let's say that wall is going to be 90 inches. I'll hit enter. And the last wall I want to return to the left. Again, all I'm doing is pointing direction and typing in my angle. So I'll type in 60 again, hit enter. And here's the most important part when you're done drawing walls. Hit your escape key in your upper left hand corner of your keyboard and you'll stop. One of the neat features within 2020 is an auto zoom. I like to take my kitchens and make them as large as possible and you do so simply by double clicking on the wheel on your mouse and when you do so it zooms in on your drawing. Now that's one example. Matter of fact, let me undo this because I'd like to show you something a little more complicated and show you just how easy that is. Now, 
right in front of me, I actually have a drawing. This is a 2020 drawing. It's just the outline of walls. But let's say that this is the piece of paper that you brought back from the job site. You went out with your carpenter's pencil, and you had your tape measure, and you measured around the room. You went from the corner to the trim of the window, the overall window, from the right-hand trim to the corner, and around the rest of the room. And you've written these dimensions down here, given a rough drawing of the room. You want to convert this to 2020 so that you can go ahead and start doing your design. It's actually just as easy and just as fast as we did. Now this room has a lot of walls in it and several angles. I'm going to show you just how easy this is to work. And you probably can't see this one very clearly. But don't worry about it. I'm going to type in the angles and I'll call out, I'm sorry, the length of the walls and I'll call out everything as I do so. So let me switch back to my screen so that you have the ability to watch me live. Now, we're going to start the same drawing. Now, in my drawing, the first wall I wanted to draw here, and actually, give me just a second here, I'm going to roll the wheel back on my mouse just to give myself a little more room to make sure I have enough room on the screen. I'm going to left-click on the screen and move my mouse down. Again, if I moved left, right, it'll follow me whatever direction. What am I doing? I'm just pointing the direction out, I'm letting go of the mouse, and I'm typing in the length. The length of the first wall is 26 inches. I'll type in 26 and hit Enter. My next wall, I'm going to move to the right, and for my length, this wall actually has an angle. I'm sorry, it has a uh, fraction. It's 175 space 1 slash 8. Now, when I do that, I could have typed that in as a decimal, but I chose to type it as a fraction. So I typed in 175, put a space in between, and typed in 1 slash 8, and I will hit Enter to confirm. My next wall, I want it to draw up, so I'll point. And I'll say this wall, 195 space 5 slash 8, just like the previous wall. Enter. Next wall goes to the right. This one's simple. This is only 26 inches, so I'll say 26, enter. Now, the following walls are going to create basically a bay window situation. So I need to move this wall up to a 225 for an angle. Now, again, I'm not right-clicking. I'm not typing angles. I'm not doing anything special. All I did was move the mouse and pointed the direction I wanted the wall to go. I'm going to point and say this wall is 42 inches. Hit enter. I'm going to go around and uh, keep drawing my bay window. I'll type in 42 for this wall. My next wall is going to come down again on a 135. I'll type in 42 and hit enter. There's my bay window. That fast. Again, I pointed and typed. Next wall, going to go to the right. So let's point to the right. This wall, a little bit larger, 161.25. Now notice this time I actually typed in the decimal instead of using a fraction. Doesn't matter, decimals or fraction, either way is fine. I'll hit enter. My next wall will draw down. So again, I will point and I will type in 195 space 5 slash 8. We'll hit enter. And then we'll draw our last two walls. The next one goes to the uh, left. We'll say it's 65 inches. We'll hit enter. The next one goes up and we're at 26. And you'll see. How quickly, remember, when you're done drawing, hit the escape key on your keyboard, you stop drawing. And if you want to center your drawing, simply double click on the mouse wheel and it centers it for you automatically. Now you saw how easy it was for me to draw this plan. All I did was pick a starting point and I pointed the direction I wanted the walls to go and I typed the angles in. Drawing walls on 2020 couldn't be easier.